Welcome to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss the arithmetic mean. The arithmetic mean is the value obtained by summing up all the items of a group and dividing the total with the number of items in the group. Now let us take an example. Certain values are given as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 40. Now we have to find the arithmetic mean of these values. What we have to do is we have to sum up all these values. 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus like that all these values have to be summed up which gives us a total of 250. Now this 250 has to be divided by the number of items in the series. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 items in the series. So 250 divided by 7 and the answer is 35.71 which is the arithmetic mean of the series. Now let us see how the arithmetic mean is calculated in a discrete series. Here x bar is equal to sigma fx by n. The x is multiplied by the frequency of its occurrence. So sigma fx by n is the formula used in the case of discrete series to find the arithmetic mean. Now let us see how the calculation is done in the case of a discrete series. The x values are given and their corresponding frequencies are also given. The total of the frequencies which is the sigma f that is considered as n in the case of both discrete series as well as the continuous series. And then what we have to do is multiply the x values with its corresponding frequencies. The x values are taken and that is multiplied with the f values corresponding to that x values. See, the 5 is multiplied with 15, the 15 is multiplied with 20. Similarly, all the other values are also multiplied and the result is also given. Now, these results are totaled or summed up to get the sigma fx. Sigma fx is equal to this 75 plus 300 plus 625 plus the all other values that is 12600 now we have to apply the formula x bar is equal to sigma fx by n sigma fx is 12600 and n is 250 when this division is done we will get the arithmetic mean of the series which is 50.4 in this case now let us see how the arithmetic mean is calculated in the case of continuous series. Here also the same formula as in discrete series is applied. X bar is equal to sigma fx by n. But in this case the x is not as used in discrete series. Here x is the mid value of the class intervals. There is the only difference between the discrete series and the continuous series. The x values are the mid values of the class intervals. Now let us take an example for the calculation of arithmetic mean in the continuous series. The x values are given as a class interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20 like that class intervals are given. That is because it is a continuous series and the frequency values are also given. The total of the frequencies is 623 which is the n. Now what we have to do is first we have to find the mid values of all the class intervals which is multiplied with the frequency f. Now the mid values of 0 to 10 is 5 and the mid value of 10 to 20 is 15 and the mid value of 20 to 30 is 25 like that all the mid values of the class intervals are found and multiplied with their corresponding frequencies to give the result as shown. Next, we have to find the sigma fx by summing up all the results of the multiplication. So, sigma fx is 
31875. Next, we have to apply the formula x bar is equal to sigma fx by n. That is 31875 divided by 623. And the result is 51.16 in this case. So, the arithmetic mean of this continuous series is 51.16. Now let us discuss what are the merits of an arithmetic mean. The most important merit is that it is simple to understand. Anybody can understand it very simply and hence it is also very easy to calculate. So this is an important merit of arithmetic mean and then its merits also include it can be determined in most of the cases in almost all types of quantitative data we can calculate the arithmetic mean and all the items in the series is considered for its calculation no item is excluded while calculating it then it is capable of further algebraic treatment we can use the arithmetic mean for further equations also and it is stable the arithmetic mean does not change when we calculate the same thing again and again or whether if I calculate or somebody else calculate the mean of a particular group, the same answer will be obtained. That is why we call it stable. The arithmetic mean is also not free from some demerits. Its demerits include it is affected by extreme values. The lowest value and highest values have got influence on the arithmetic mean. Then it is usually not a value in the series. The mean that we calculate may not be a value from inside the series. That may be a separate value. And another demerit is that it cannot be used for qualitative data. Only for quantitative data or numerical data we can calculate the arithmetic mean. And the mean can also not be calculated for open-ended classes. These are the demerits of mean. With this, the lecture has come to an end. Now, this is the end of this video. The purpose of this video is just to illustrate how the arithmetic mean is calculated in all the three series, individual series, discrete series, as well as the continuous series. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, you may subscribe the channel.